Cord blood is the blood that's left in the placenta and in the umbilical cord uh, following the delivery of the baby. Uh, this blood is rich in stem cells. Uh, these are cells that can be used later on to treat a variety of disease conditions. Stem cells are master cells. So those are the building blocks of organs and tissues. The stem cells that are present in umbilical cord blood uh, can be turned into red cells, white cells, and platelets, the different types of blood cells, and in addition can be turned into uh, other types of stem cells that can be used for regenerative medicine, such as treating heart disease, diabetes, Parkinson's, spinal injuries, etc. Stem cells can be found in a variety of locations, in the peripheral blood, in bone marrow, and in umbilical cord blood. Uh, the unique advantages of umbilical cord blood stem cells are the fact that it's readily available, uh, the fact that it's present in uh, the placenta in the umbilical cord, uh, the fact that it can be obtained in a non-invasive fashion without uh, hurting the baby or the mother, and it can be used for uh, replacing the bone marrow. In, in using cord blood to replace a diseased bone marrow, uh, it offers several advantages over bone marrow transplant. Uh, cord blood is easier to match and the transplant is associated with fewer complications and with higher success. The limitations of using uh, umbilical cord blood for a transplant to replace the bone marrow is the fact that in general the number of cells that are present in the umbilical cord blood, the number of stem cells, uh, is limited uh, and therefore is only adequate to treat a child or a small adult. Umbilical cord blood can currently be used to treat a variety of disease conditions affecting the bone marrow. Uh, approximately 60 to 70 diseases can currently be treated with stem cells from umbilical cord. Uh, those diseases include uh, cancer of the bone marrow, such as leukemia, uh, a variety of immune conditions, and uh, other inherited disorders. Future applications of umbilical cord blood stem cells are almost unlimited. Technology is now being developed to turn the umbilical cord stem cells into other types of stem cells, and by doing so, it would allow us to treat a variety of other diseases that are currently untreatable, uh, such as heart disease, diabetes, uh, multiple sclerosis, spinal injuries, lupus, etc. cetera. Uh, having the baby's cord blood collected at the time of delivery offers a unique opportunity to uh, store genetically matched, unique, stem cells of your baby. Uh, those cells can uh, serve as a biological insurance and use later to treat a variety of disease conditions. Discussion regarding uh, cord blood storage should begin early in pregnancy. Uh, you should ask your obstetrician to explain the advantages of storing your baby's cord blood and make the proper arrangements. Now, once you've made the decision and you contact uh, our office, we will ship a kit to you that includes all the components that are necessary to collect the blood. You will then bring the kit with you to uh, the labor floor and hand over to the obstetrician who will then collect the blood immediately after the delivery. Once the blood is collected, it will be shipped back to our laboratory for processing. Uh, the processing involves separating the stem cells from the other components of the blood, the plasma and the red cells. Uh, all the different components are frozen and kept for a possible future use. Uh, once the process is complete and the sample has been frozen, we will notify you of the successful completion of the process. The umbilical cord blood is stored in liquid nitrogen. Uh, the temperature of liquid nitrogen, which is mi uh, minus 196 degrees Celsius, is a temperature in which all the activities of the cell cease. Uh, that means that the sample can be stored theoretically forever. 
there's no evidence that there's any deterioration in the amount or the function of the cells uh, during storage. Primarily, of course, the baby. Uh, the blood contains stem cells that are unique genetic match for the baby. Uh, and those cells can be used to treat a variety of disease conditions currently and in the future using regenerative medicine to treat other conditions as well. However, umbilical cord blood can also be uh, matched to uh, other family members, especially close family members, and uh, to treat a variety of disease conditions as well. My name is Gad Levy, and I'm the director of Lifeline Cryogenics. Lifeline Cryogenics has been in existence since 2002 uh, and is one of a handful of uh, cord blood banks that is uh, accredited by the FDA and the American Association of Blood Banks. Lifeline Cryogenics is located in Connecticut and is run and operated by a licensed obstetrician. Uh, our staff includes a licensed and skilled cryobiologist which handle the samples from reception to uh, storage. We offer a quality product guarantee and uh, a 24-hour uh, customer support. Our advisory board includes a renowned uh, transplant specialist as well as an infectious disease expert. Lifeline's mission is uh, to provide the state-of-the-art technology and do so in a personalized manner. Uh, my staff and I are fully committed to the idea of stem cell research and future application of stem cells.